He's a 10 year old social media sensation. He actually has 320K followers on Instagram, but recently he was in an interview, him and his father. And, uh, and yeah, he, they, him and his father, they, they, well, I'd say his father uh, more so has kind of been rubbing people the wrong way. So uh, take, a, take a look at this, uh, at this interview and then we'll, we'll look at, uh, maybe, maybe, take, maybe take a look at his Instagram page as well. Are you him is the real question. Yes. See, I'm going to punch him in. Punch Ask him that in. again, bro. Say, man, what kind of question is that? You see my Instagram. Say that. Ready? Go. Right, go hey, ahead. baby, Grom. Are you him? What kind of question is that? Look at my Instagram. So, yeah, you know, that was that was a, a conversation that they had on a podcast recently. And people kind of been rubbed the wrong way with it. They're like, you know, is it is it the dad trying to exploit the kid for money? Boo. Yeah, you know, so so that's that's been the conversation. And recently, because because what's also been happening is that Baby Gronk's dad has been just reaching out to a lot of different media outlets, of course, just to kind of get his kids some more exposure and whatnot. Ashley, he's reached out to you as well. I've gotten, I want to say, three DMs from this man. Wow. Um, wow. and he DMs you via Baby Gronk's like. Instagram account. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So at first, I'm like, why is this baby in, like DMing me? Like, why is this <laughs> right, child right, right, right. DMing me? Um, but yeah, I've gotten one from him or two when I was at Sports Illustrated and one since I've been here at I Am Athlete. Or maybe wow. I have those numbers backwards and it's two at I Am Athlete, one here at Sports Illustrated. Mm -hmm. But I've Got a picture gotten here a with few Brandon. DMs from him. I've never answered them. They're like in my like message request. Mm -hmm. But I'm just like, he's 10, bro. Like, can we not? Like, I understand that, you know, I cover, I make no state. I don't know if I've ever told you guys this, mm -hmm. but I got my first start in sports in the football world when I was working NBC, at NBC6 down here in Miami. And I was covering Pop Warner. So mm -hmm. I'm very familiar with youth football and things like right. that. But I mean, I feel like this guy's taking it to a whole different level and it feels a, a little bit or a lot like exploitation. Mm. It feels like he's trying to vicariously live through his kid to accomplish all the things that maybe he wasn't able to accomplish. Mm. Um, and I understand putting your kids in sports and, you know, having that and especially if they express interest in playing certain sports, putting them in there. But I think there's also like levels of, mm -hmm. of still allowing them to be a kid. Yeah. This guy is not, you know, Gronk. He's not a professional athlete. He's not even a collegiate athlete. Like he's a 10 year old kid. Let him be a 10 year old kid. This is just like nasty. It sits weird with my spirit. I don't I'm not one to tell people how to raise their kids because mm -hmm. I'm not a mother. I'm not a parent. But I just think that as somebody who's just, you know, from the outside looking in, it's just nasty behavior. Like, it doesn't sit well with me. It's just kind of, it's kind of gross. It's kind yeah. of gross. Well, I don't know if you've gotten a chance to look at, you know, his Instagram page. If you look at some of his highlights, the kid is, you know, he's pretty coordinated for a 10-year-old. I'll be honest. Like, he does look good for his age. But, what, yeah, what's odd to me, and we've already put up a couple pictures of it, he's, he's going on, like, college tours already, right? Yeah. Like, these are, these are activities reserved really for college juniors, seniors, right? Like, you see him in the Missouri yeah. uniform. You see him in the Kentucky uniform. Like, he's, he's experiencing this now. What is it going to be like for him, in, you know, when he in, gets to high school? Yeah, in 10 years. He's I mean, gonna, he's getting recruited by the same team as Jordan Burks. Right. <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> right, a guy right. We just had I, I, I do want to push day. back a little bit and, act, and, and like, kind of pick you guys' uh, brain and see if mm -hmm. you guys uh, can see it from a different angle, I guess. Um, do you think this is, like, a result of generational change, meaning that we live in the social media change, but also we grew up always hearing that fathers don't stand by their kids or they're not raising their kids. So right. we see a father clearly trying to raise his kid. Obviously, it's not everything is correct. Mm -hmm. But would you say that there's some positivity in this um, no. by at least guiding his kid? It doesn't feel like guiding to me. And it feels like his he's trying to live through his child and unlike mm. you know people will say well what about lavar ball lavar ball's kids were semi-grown mm. like they were teenagers and he was kind of molding them and getting them ready for the nba this kid is, hasn't even hit puberty yet yeah. i mean he's a for all intents and purposes like i'm 30 so i can say this he's a baby you mm. know what i mean so it's kind of like literally his name's baby gronk so i understand you know uplifting your kids and 
you know, putting them in things that that adhere to their desires and their dreams and their aspirations mm -hmm. and their interests. But let's also like not forget when you're 10 years old, sometimes the things that you want when you're 10, you don't want when you're 18. Mm -hmm. And you still wanna have a level of freedom right. to go ahead and figure those things out without having that immense pressure. It's like those parents who put their kids in all these activities to like, try to like get them to be the next Mozart or the mm. next, you know, you know, Picasso. And, and it's like, does the kid even want to be an artist? Does right. the kid even want to do commercials? Like, right. like what does the kid actually want to do? Mm -hmm. And maybe the kid does want to play football. Mm -hmm. I just don't know if like this level of, you know, what's being pushed upon him is healthy because he may right. change his mind. Exactly. And what if he does want to change his mind and his dad's like, no, I've already invested so much. Like if right. you wanted to be a football player, bro, you should have taken that path. <laughs> this is your kid. He should be able to figure out things for himself. Mm -hmm. And if that ultimately is wanting to be a football player, cool, then go ahead and continue to harness and, and mold those, those desires, but do it in a way that still allows him to be a kid. I just feel like it's a mm -hmm. little bit exploit it's it's exploitation to me it just feels icky it just feels gross well it, it feels forced right like so i actually had a chance we, we put up the picture of uh, baby gronk and brandon so they they came here to the facility at house of athlete and i actually met baby gronk and his dad on that day and i actually spoke with baby gronk's dad for like 20 wow. minutes almost and what i could say is because because what baby gronk was there doing was actually just working out with one of our trainers and i was able to see him firsthand actually see him working out and like i said earlier like he has coordination he does look good for a 10 year old but just what i wish is because it, like I said, it just feels forced. I just wish his dad would just allow his uh, talent to kind of just gain him that exposure. Right. They would have just kept it at like just the Instagram videos of him. Like, cause I, honestly, check out his Instagram. Like he, Why is he's he jumping lifting over weights? kids' he's heads 10. and whatnot. Huh? Say be that again. For real. Why is he lifting weights? He's 10. He should, Why he is shouldn't he be doing half weights. the things that he's doing? First of all, it's yeah. unhealthy. There's been yeah. scientific studies that show it stunts your growth mm -hmm. and it stunts your development before if you start lifting heavy weights mm -hmm. before puberty. Mm -hmm. Like he is a child. And even in that clip on that podcast, you can see he's forcing him to right. say certain things. Like his dad is feeding him thing. things to say and things not to say. Mm -hmm. So while maybe harnessing his desire to play sports is not, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm mm -hmm. not knocking that. Mm -hmm. I'm knocking the way he's going about it. He's right. exploiting this kid and not allowing him to be a kid. And it's just, I don't know, it's just gross. Like you're reaching out to all these outlets and it's just, it seems thirsty. It seems like a little bit like you couldn't make it to the NFL. So now you're trying to make sure your kid makes it. And it's mm -hmm. just, I don't know, it's, yeah. it's weird. I, I it's wouldn't weird. want to imagine a day when the kid wakes up, baby Gronk, and says, hey, um, Dad, I just want to go outside and play, right? You know, or or go to the store, or go on a date, and doesn't want to do sports anymore, right? Yeah, that's you know, what does the dad do then? Because I agree with Ashley, and I agree with some of the people in this chat that's saying I think he's living vicariously through him. Yeah, yeah, it's it's an unfortunate situation. Like you just hope again that that baby Gronk is is at least having fun with it. You know, like I hope that he's at least enjoying some of these experiences he's having. Cause like, if he you doesn't going, look like he's having fun if we gonna keep it a buck. The yeah, you don't think so? Miserable. Yeah, yeah. He always looks miserable. Like, yeah, yeah, he yeah. Just, he doesn't look happy. He doesn't look like a kid who wants to be there half the time. Like mm. it just doesn't, it looks like it's a chore essentially. Right. What's the percentage guys that he makes it to the NFL? I mean, for anyone, it's like a slim percentage anyway. You know what I'm saying? So it's like his percentage is the same as everyone else's. Like, <laughs> it, oh. it's funny. Well, so we had a comment. You see on the lower third there that players are, are starting to call out baby Grunt. Will Compton, mm -hmm. he's, a, he's a co-host of Bustin' with the Boys. He had something to say to, to baby Grunt's father because just like you, Ashley, he reached out to him and was asking to be on his platform or whatnot. I think we have a screenshot mm -hmm. of their conversation. But yeah, you know, he it's just him, you know, asking just, uh, but but again, this is what he does often and to a lot of people. It's just, it's a little, come off just a little too aggressive, but this was yeah. the conversation they had. Will Compton, you know, politely said no, they, they'd like to pass. But then as you can see, he kind of just kept following up with them like, Okay, appreciate you getting back, but what's up? Like, can we can we still come on the platform? So, you know, this is this is what again a lot of people have said that they've been experiencing, and it's borderline abusive. Yeah, right? yeah. And and then you look at the not interview, only that guys, but like he there on. was another screenshot, Corey. I don't know if you saw it, mm -hmm. but Baby Gronk's dad 
reached out to Will's co-host. I guess he has a co-host or one of his co-hosts on the podcast mm -hmm. and said something along the lines like, can we still come on the pod? We don't need Will. Like, wow. bro. Come on. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. That's cringy. Yeah. Like, is it was it always a dream of 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 Lil Madden to get on busting with the boys? Like, come on, why are we why are we you know uh, reaching so so far to, to get this done? Like, come on, just let it go. Like I said, I, I just wish he had allowed the opportunities just to come with the way you know with the, what he's putting on the football field with the film Great. that he's putting out. And it's like he's ten years old, so he, he can only do so much. The, the little league football seasons are only so long. Uh, he's you know he participates in seven on sevens often, and you know he's able to, to get film there. But like just let it come, let it come. I mean, it is pretty impressive too that he has an offer. Did you guys know he actually has an, like a legitimate offer from University I, of Arizona? I don't think that's impressive. I think that's embarrassing. Really, you think so? Like, Explain. why are you offering a ten-year-old a scholarship? You oh, it's embarrassing on Arizona's body, part. You don't know what his body type's gonna look like in ten years. You don't mm -hmm. know what his skill set's gonna be in ten years. You don't know what his football IQ is gonna be in ten years. How the hell are you offering somebody a scholarship at ten years old? Like, yeah. be for real. Yeah. Like, be serious. <laughs> well, when should the father like, when did you start playing football? Though. Say it again. When did you start playing football? Actually, like what age? At eight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so okay, I was only two years you, younger like, than him. Really start seriously playing football. Oh no, well, I mean that first year, honestly, like it was, it was half. My dad always tells the story. It was like halfway through that first year, you know, I was, I was trying to figure it out. But then at that midpoint, it just clicked. And yeah, no, I was taking serious in that first year for sure. But that's all. But I, it wasn't something. Did mm -hmm. you feel like you were still able to be a kid while playing football, like youth football, or did you feel like if you had to do it again? you wouldn't have taken the football. Like, was it your desire to play? And yeah. your parents just went ahead and, you know, nourished that desire, but you still could be a kid and you could still do normal things? Or yeah. did you feel like it was football, school, and nothing else? Right, no, that's what I loved about the experience. Like, you were still able to be a kid, you know, to your point. It wasn't, it wasn't forced upon me. I actually played basketball before I played football. My dad played football um, during his time. So he, he, he always said he didn't want to pressure me into playing football and he was going to allow me to just, you know, decide when it was, when, when it was when I, that I started. So no, it was all up to me and it was, it was a great experience, but I feel like I, did, I, I didn't have the pressure. Like I was just learning the game and having fun with it. I wasn't, I didn't have a platform like Baby Grunk, you know? So like, yeah. I, I, that's, that's another thing. I also feel like he's putting a lot of pressure on Baby Grunk to really be a dude like absolutely like we're expecting that's baby Grunk to be an all-american now uh with, with, with all of this pub that he's getting so that's that's, unf that's the, another for, an unfor unfortunate part of this whole situation with, with, you know I mean? also think about where like how people are so obsessed with clout yeah this is only the first version of this before it gets mm. worse and worse parents from the womb my mm -hmm. baby's an nfl superstar like i see people li doing this consistently going mm -hmm. forward yeah so it's just like maybe they could set like the path where it's like, okay, at 14, we build your Instagram page. Yeah. We have some videos, whatever the case is. But. I think that's coming. Yeah, that's coming. Just with these NILs and whatnot. I see, Correct. I see, you know, people in the future taking advantage of those opportunities out there. Cause I can imagine that's, that's probably what, what a lot of the motivation behind this is, is those, those deals and whatnot that, that he and his dad can, are able to get in the space that is, you know, was it right i mean and again it's not him playing football at 10 as the issue mm -hmm. it's everything else around it right. that's problematic cringy and just kind of gross yeah. so just making that clear honestly speaking. let me also point this right. out somebody in the chat them boys and this is kind of why i wanted to play that devil's advocate just said as an actual athlete with no pops i wish i had a pops to train me so it's like it's almost like a balancing act like maybe if his dad pulled back held off on the social media Again. and just let the game go yeah. like you were saying Corey. like yeah. i think that's what you need it's not that we want the father to not be there mm -hmm. we just want him to kind of ease up on the social media side of things right right and i think it's it, i don't even think we're talking about the situation as much as we are if he's at least like 14 like you said 15. absolutely you know then then it all right it makes sense maybe you're introducing him to like the business side of things because and then we'll, we'd also know at 14 or 15 really what his true trajectory is because we'll know how he is against teenage competition at this point like right now he's literally still playing against middle he's school. dominating yeah yeah he's playing he's against, a big he's, kid yeah he's, he's bigger than all the other all of the other kids but like if you're good who wasn't dominating in middle school you know like that's and how again it's not about the dad being present in you know the kid's life and mm -hmm. and training him and nourishing his desire to play football if that is his desire mm -hmm. it's the cringiness of forcing him 
to be a superstar at right. 10 years old instead of him just being a kid who really loves football and maybe one day can be really good at it. That's the that's what's turning people off. It's yeah. not the present father. It's not, you know, the father taking interest in the son's interest. It's everything else around it. Yeah. So just again, want to make that very clear yeah. that we're not saying he's, you know, a bad father right. for being present yeah. in his son's life. He's doing it. It comes across like he's a bad father because of everything else around it. Right. That's all. It's just the way he's yeah. going about it.